Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to get Instagram started and then we'll start, inshallah. seem to have a problem with Instagram. Let's have a look. Okay, we'll try again, inshallah. Otherwise, we'll just carry on here, won't we, Facebook? Inshallah, right. Live. Okay, Bismillah, let's try again. You want to teach your children about Islam this Ramadan, but you're going to be tired. You want to encourage them to fast more, to pray more, but you're going to be busy. You want to connect with your children, create happy, beautiful memories together, but you don't want that to eat up into your own time for worship. So what do you do? That is why my team and I have put together a special gift for your children this Ramadan. Um, welcome everybody. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Uh, my name is Dr. Jemma Elizabeth. I am the founder of OurMuslimHomeschool.com and I am the host of this podcast, Raising Mums. And I, uh, every Sunday I come on here and we talk about homeschooling and parenting and all things like that. Assalamu alaikum, Sultana, Mumtaz, Shabnam, alaikum salam. Okay, so I've introduced myself. Now I'm going to get into what this gift is. This gift that my team and I have created for your kids. So about three months ago, um, I'm just going to check the comments here at first, actually. Okay, we're cool. So um, about three months ago, I sent out an email to my list. Some of you might be getting my newsletters. And I sent a email asking you, what can I do for you this Ramadan? How can I serve your children, your family, you? What can I do to help you? And I got a lot of replies back, alhamdulillah. And they, they were things like, you know, I want to teach my kids about Islam during Ramadan, but I'm just so tired. I'm just so busy. I want to encourage them to fast or to pray or to learn more about Islam, but I don't want it to look like schoolwork. I don't want it to look like another worksheet. I want it to be fun, but I don't want it to wear me out. So I, we, we took all of this on, me and the ladies behind the scenes who helped me, and we have put together something really special for you and for your children. And this gift, it's completely free. It's not going to cost you a penny. It is my gift to your children, to you, um, in the hope that this will serve you and help you this Ramadan. And what we've put together is a Ramadan book club for your children, a way to create a meaningful Ramadan for your kids. So each week, during Ramadan, this community is going to come together and we're all together each week going to read an Islamic children's book. One book per week for the four weeks. So there's four books all together. I'm going to send you an activity pack and that activity pack goes along with that book. And inside there, you will find conversation starters. So when you've read that book with your kids, you look at the conversation starters and it helps you to talk about that book in a meaningful way, in a way that helps you to connect with them and makes that the lessons that they learn in that book stand out more. Um, it helps them to connect with those lessons, helps them to remember it. So you have the conversation starters. Also within the activity pack, you will have three activities that you can do. And these activities, again, are themed around that book. Um, now, some of you will be thinking activities in Ramadan. I don't have time. I don't have the energy. I know. That is why my team and I have put together activities that are not going to be complicated. They're not going to take a lot of time. Um, hopefully they're not going to stress you out, but they are going to have really worthwhile, meaningful lessons to them. It's not just busy work. There's a point to them, but everything is optional. You know, this is my gift to you. If you want to do the activities, amazing. If you want to leave that out, alhamdulillah, that's fine. This is here to serve you. So you have the conversation starters and the activity packs. And then, and this is the bit, 
I'm very excited about. And then every week, the author of that book is going to come live into our community and read that story aloud to your children. She is going to read that story to your kids. So your kids are already familiar with that book. All week they've been looking at it. And now the actual author is going to sit in front of them and read that story to them. And then she's going to make time to answer their questions. And this, I think, is so powerful for children to, to see somebody like that who who perhaps they look up to, reading to them, talking about Islam, talking about Ramadan, um, and maybe they get an idea of what it's like to be an author. And it's, just, it's a way of encouraging them to get more enthusiastic about Islam, more enthusiastic about books as well. Um, and so we're going to have four different authors come into the community and read aloud. So they're going to have these story times every week during Ramadan as well. And if you can't join us live for the story time, they will be recorded and you will get the recordings. So, you know, even if you're there during the live session, you can still watch the recording again later. Um, or if you miss it, no problem at all. You can catch up later. Um, and you can send your children's questions in ahead of time so that the author gets them and she can still respond to them even if they're not there live. So that's not all. You get more. When you enroll, when you join the Ramadan Book Club, you also get a welcome pack. Um, so this, in this welcome pack, there's going to be the full list of books that we're covering through the month, a list of where you can buy them from if you don't already have them, um, information about how to read aloud. If you're not comfortable reading aloud, if you're not familiar with reading aloud, there's some tips in there to help you. There's a Ramadan wall chart. So this is a chart that you can print out, put up on your fridge or up on your wall, and you can record when your children fast or when they do a half day fast. I've also included a lunar tracker so that your children can watch the moon throughout the month and make a record of what it looks like. And then that's a, that's a sunnah, you know, so we can revive that sunnah this Ramadan with our children. And I know that, you know, we're in a very strange time right now where, you know, Ramadan is not going to be the same as we usually have it. We're all very cut off. Things are not that as they usually feel. And so there is this feeling where we lack community. Um, and so what I've done is I've created a Facebook community um, where everybody who participates can come together and you can share your photos, you can share your wins, you can talk to one another about what's going on in your Ramadan. And I hope that this will at least help somewhat um, to create that community feel, especially for your children. If they see other children doing the same activities as them inside of the Facebook group or reading the same book, whatever it might be, um, it's going to really help them and encourage them this Ramadan, help them to feel less alone. Um, and then at the end of the month, when all of that is said and done, your children will get a certificate just to mark the end of the Ramadan Book Club and to congratulate them on doing such a great job. Um, this is, like I said at the beginning, this is my gift to you and to your children. And um, I really hope that it's going to help make their Ramadan meaningful and in a way that is, that is easy for you to do. It's just reading aloud to them and uh, talking and then they can watch the read aloud session the story time with the author and if you have the energy you can do the activities um, and if you're in a country so for example Aisha here is saying she's in Pakistan if you can't get the books we've selected that's fine you can just watch the story time sessions you can watch the story time where the author herself reads that book aloud to the children and then they then you can have a conversation afterwards about the book and then you can do the activities so i hope that this will be accessible to everybody i mean i do recommend you get the books because they're beautiful and i'm going to show you what books we've selected in a minute um, but if you can get hold of the books i hope that you will now i've picked books that are really well written, are beautifully illustrated, and are easy to get. Because I did pick some books before, but unfortunately they were out of print. So there's no point in me choosing books that you can't actually get yourself. So I hope that you're gonna enjoy these books. Uh, in fact, I'm sure you are. So let's do the big reveal of what books are gonna be in the Ramadan book club. So the first week, week one of Ramadan, we're gonna be looking at Layla's Lunchbox. And I'm sure many of you already have this book. Um, this is Layla's Lunchbox by Reem Faruqi. It's a beautiful book. It's about 
Um, a young girl who moved to the US, she moved from a Muslim country to the US and it's her first Ramadan and she, first Ramadan there and she's going to be fasting and she doesn't know how people are going to react because nobody else is fasting. She'll be the only one. And so it deals with a lot of emotions around that situation, perhaps something that your children might be experiencing as well if they live in the West. Um, it's beautifully written, beautifully illustrated. As you can see from the front, it's won a few awards. Um, it's just a great, great book. I can't really get it on both cameras. There we go. Um, there we go. So, um, so this book is going to be week one. And so Reem will be coming into the community to read aloud from this book um, and answer your children's questions about it. And there is an activity pack which is themed around this book. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Right. That's week one. Week two, we have this book, Who Will Help Me Make Iftar by Esma Hussein. This is a beautiful story about a man called Mustafa. And Mustafa is making um, iftar for his family, but nobody wants to help. And so it's a story about patience, about generosity, um, about kindness and um, giving and sacrifice. There's so many beautiful character traits to talk about in this book, as well as some delicious foods and some beautiful cultural um, imagery in here as well. So. We're going to be reading this in week two together. Asma is going to be coming into the group to read this to your children. It's going to be so much fun. Um, and again, an activity pack themed around this book. Um, so that is, she's on uh, Instagram and Facebook. This is by Rokea's Bookshelf. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Asma. Right. And so then we've got week three. So week three, we have picked... Ramadan Around the World by Nada Hassan. Um, and so this is so beautiful, this book. I'm sure many of you as well have seen this online. It looks at Ramadan in the different countries around the Islamic world, the different practices, the different foods, what it looks like all around the world. It's such a beautiful book. And if you're watching this and you're not a Muslim and you just happen to switch this on, this is a great book for non-Muslims as well. Um, highly recommend it. Beautifully written, beautifully illustrated. And it, this, we've got some fun activities uh, to do with this. So this is week three. Okay, and the last book. So the final book for the Ramadan Book Club 2021 is... Under the Ramadan Moon. This is such a classic. And I'm sure maybe at least a quarter of you, if not more of you guys watching, already have this at home. Um, and I think this will be good, particularly for the younger uh, audience. I'd say anybody from three upwards. Um, this is a classic. It was published in 2008. So I'm sure many of you have it. So Sylvia Whitman wrote Under the Ramadan Moon. This, please forgive my copy. I, you know, I've got four kids. They've all read this, so it's covered with scribbles. But anyway, um, so this is a beautiful book and it talks about all the beautiful, wonderful things that they did during Ramadan. All the acts of kindness and worship um, that they did. And so we're gonna be using this with your children to help them reflect on their Ramadan and what they did and hopefully all the great things they did with the help of the Ramadan Book Club. And so Sylvia Whitman as well will be coming to do a read aloud session, a story time, for your children in the last week of Ramadan. Um, so those are all the books. Um, as you can tell, I'm very excited. Um, and it's I'm so honored to be able to give this to you and to your children. If you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments. Um, any questions about the Ramadan Book Club or about these books, um, anything that I can help you with. If you wanna sign up to this, Remember, this is completely free. If you want to join in uh, this Ramadan, you need, just need to go to ramadanbookclub.com. Ramadanbookclub.com. You join there free. Um, if you're already a student of one of my courses, then you'll, you'll probably already have access to this. Um, but if you're not, it's just a matter of putting your email and your name in, and then you get access to everything. Alhamdulillah. So that's ramadanbookclub.com. Dot com. So let me have a scroll through the questions if there's anything here. Um, I didn't mention, but I think this is suitable for children aged four to nine. So if you've got children between that age range, four years old up to nine, um, then this would be a great, uh, a great way to uh, create meaning to their Ramadan, keep them busy, keep them learning um, 
and just a lot of fun, a great way for you to connect with them this Ramadan. Okay, so Anam has said, what age does this club cater for? So four to nine years old, although I do think this final book, Under the Ramadan Moon, would be good for three-year-old plus. So um, if, you, if, if you've got younger ones in the house as well, by all means, they can join for that one as well. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Mashallah. Okay, beautiful. Right, let's have a look on Instagram. Have you guys got any questions? Same question. Okay, so Anissa has asked, what age is it suitable for? Four to nine years old. I guess I should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> okay, um, any other questions about it? Um, Welcome, salam, sarwa. Oh, thank you, Farida. Okay, Sultana, Zainab. Oh, oh Fatima, assalamu alaikum. Right, okay. Uh, there's a lot of happy happy comments, but no questions. Okay. So, oh, alhamdulillah, somebody's just joined. Amazing. Cool. So, um, this is, um, so for those of you who've just joined, okay, I am offering your children a free gift this Ramadan where they can participate in the Ramadan Book Club. And every week we will together be looking at, as a community, one Islamic children's book each week. You'll get activities to go along with that book. You'll get conversation starters. And then the author herself will come into our community and read aloud that story to them and take their questions. There's going to be a Facebook community where you can talk to each other, where your children can share photos of their paintings or their activities and things that they've been doing. Um, and it's just, it's going to be a beautiful way to create meaning this Ramadan for you to connect with your children um, in a way that isn't going to wear you out or exhaust you, but just to create some beautiful memories together. Amin has just joined. Amin has just joined. Um, no, Um Ibrahim, if you're already a subscriber to my list, will I have to create an account again? Um, if you're subscribed to my email list, then you will. If you have already created an account on the course page I have, then you won't. The only way to know, sister, is to go to ramadanbookclub.com and have a look there. If you've forgotten your password, just email my team, um, ourmuslimhomeschool at gmail.com and we will send you the link so you can reset your password, inshallah. Okay, awesome. Right, I am going to wrap it up here. But if even if this isn't for you, even if you've got kids that are too young or too old, Tell your brothers and sisters so that your nieces and nephews can join in. Tell your best friend, put it in your WhatsApp groups. You know, spread the word that there is a free children's book club this Ramadan that is going to help your children to learn more about Islam, connect with Ramadan, create beautiful memories with you um, and, your, and your husband and your children together. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so make sure you spread the word at ramadanbookclub.com. Thank you everybody for joining me here today. Um, it's been brief today, but alhamdulillah, exciting. So I'm going to be back again next Sunday for another live session and another episode of the Raising, of the Raising Mums podcast. Okay, I'll wrap it up here, guys. You have a beautiful Sunday and I'll catch you next week. Assalamu alaikum.